and a good morning from Garrigill in the North Pennines. Now, some of you may be said, oh, where's he going to go today? Can we go to Ashkill Force? No. Can we go up to Crossfell along the old Corpse Road? Mm, partly. Because the purpose of this video today is that the North Pennines is a glorious place, but sometimes accessing it is not quite as clear cut as what you might hope. And hopefully today I'll be able to explain some of the reasons why. But for now, let's just enjoy the views. And now the fun begins. Because I never really shorten videos. But the ascent from Gatehead to Black Band is quite steep. So expect me to be a little out of breath by the top. It is steeper than it looks, but for the views, it is well worth it. And that's the Pennine Way leading off to the right. Whew. That is some steep climb with Garrigal in the valley behind, but nearly there. And as we approach Black Band, I have no idea why it has that name. If anyone can let me know, please in the comments below, let me know why it's called Black Band, because I can't see anything of black anywhere. Green, brown, yes, no black. You're probably thinking, where's he heading? What's he on about with this access thing and rights of way, blah, blah, blah. Well, just a little bit further and all will be revealed. And on a side note, being talked to a fellow hiker there who has um, been hiking the Pennine Way and is hoping to pitch his tent in Alston tonight. Um, but he's not just started the Pennine Way in ADL, he started his hike in Cornwall. And this is week eight. Wow. Good luck. Although this hike isn't as impressive as my recent travels, I still cannot help but to be amazed by the beauty in this area. And two hours later, finally here. So, why have I travelled two hours to this spot? And what's this about? Well, it's a sober and thought, but every square inch, every square centimetre of the UK is owned by somebody or something. Um, I know people may say Dartmoor Common, which is a complicated case, but in the main, every square centimetre and inch of UK land and out to sea as well, for some of it, is owned by somebody, be it the Crown, the government, a public body, like a council or an organisation such as the Forestry Commission. Uh, it could be a private business, around here it could be Northumbrian Water, for example. Um, it could be uh, an estate, a, shall we say, a business, private business, a group or an individual. Somebody owns it all. So, what's this got to do with this video? Well, a lot of people will know the national park system in here, in this area. For example, we've got the Lake District, which is just over there. And we've got the Yorkshire Dales, which is just over there. And they are national parks. And you can go and visit them anytime, walk around, there's no restrictions. Brilliant. The North Pennines is not a national park. It's an area of outstanding natural beauty. So therefore, shall we say, accessing it comes under, shall we say, the Countryside Rights of Way Act. Now, one of the stipulations of that act is that the landowner can close access to that land for 28 days of the year. So, for example, I could be hiking down from Crossfell up there, down the Pennine Way here, which is a public right of way. And I could come to here and say, oh, hang on, I'll detour up to Longman Hill, which is literally just up the top there. 
but I can't because it is currently Tuesday and up there is closed to public access. Not allowed up there and actually I'm not allowed over towards behind you towards Greencastle Tarn either. It's all closed. But what's the reason why? So, for example, over across there, across that hill there, is Greencastle Tarn. And I may want to think, oh, I'll take a visit there as well. I can't, because I can't, and I'm not allowed, to physically walk across this land. It's all closed. Now, the reasoning behind it is to protect moorland birds and sensitive wildlife, because obviously a lot of moorland birds during the month of May and June are, shall we say, nesting. And if you go along, you disturb the nests, they can frighten the chicks, um, you can abandon the nests, or if the chicks take off and they are not fully equipped for, shall we say, a flight, the wind, which can be quite severe, will blow them away and they will die. So it's understandable, but it's something to bear in mind, is that at certain times of the year, mainly in May and June, a large part of the North Pennines is closed. So, as I head back to the car, whew, bear in mind, all of this to my right is closed. And if I pan round, all of this is closed. How do you go about finding out what is closed and where? Well, unfortunately, it requires internet access, which up here is non-existent. So, time for the voiceover, and hopefully I can explain how you do actually find out where it's closed and when. So, as I head back to the car, how do you find out where you can hike and where it's closed? Well, by either internet searching or using the link provided in the description below, will fetch you to this site here. This page will give you a number of options. For example, you can search by place name, postcode, or map coordinates. And from there, further down the page, you have to input the date for which you intend to hike. This will fetch up a map of the area you have chosen. For example, this is the map for Cross Fell. But as you can tell, it doesn't really tell you a lot. For that, you have to scroll down the page. Lower down that page, you will find a list of PDFs for that area. Unfortunately, you have to download them and then open them to find out where it is actually closed. Once the PDFs are downloaded and opened, they reveal the open access land that is closed. For example, the land around Cross Fell and Longman Hill, Greencastle Tarn, and if you go back to that first page and search around different areas of the North Pennines, you'll also find other areas that are not open, such as Waskily Reservoir and Selset Reservoir. So, as I come into Garrigill, is there anywhere else worthy of a mention regarding restricted access? Hmm, I can think of one or two. Time for a little drive. So it's back in the car I go, travelling more of the North Pennines. But to where now? Yes, welcome back to one of my favourite places, Cow Green Reservoir. So, where else is out of bounds in the North Pennines? Well, first of all, up there, Mickle Fell. Uh, at the moment, it is Ministry of Defence. It is leased from the landowner and used by the Ministry of Defence as a shooting ground. Um, so therefore, it is currently out of bounds for open access or hiking. You can apply to hike to the summit but um, I believe it's about a two or three month wait list, it varies. 
and there's only two routes available one from here straight up or one from the south straight up it's basically straight to the summit and back you can't roam around on your way up or while you're up there and the other place is well basically where i'm standing now weedy bank fell which isn't open now next month next year in fact there's no open access here until 2065 that's quite a wait and the reason why can be found in this enclosure rare plants very rare plants although I did look closely I couldn't find any spring gentian never mind better look next time and as I make my way back to the car through this basically no-go area apart from this road which is a permissive path I believe hope you've enjoyed it yes the Pennines do close down occasionally but it's only for so say, roughly a month and then come June they have to reopen on a weekend again on the Saturday and the Sunday and then by mid-July end of July everything is back to the status quo and hopefully I've explained some of the reason behind the closure of some of the mowers and the restrictions on open access. So, with that in mind, hope you've enjoyed this video. And do not forget, everything you've watched, everything you've seen, this is the North Pennines. <laughs>